Hi, this is Sean Chua. Welcome back to SimpleChemConcepts.com. Now, today we're going to discuss on chemical bonding. And at the end of this video, you'll learn how to write the chemical formula of covalent molecules, regardless whether they are elements or compounds. Now, before we start, it's very important to think of three points when you write the chemical formula of your covalent molecules. Number one, you need to understand that covalent molecules, whether it's an element or a compound, they are formed from non-metal and non-metal atoms. So you need to be able to go to the periodic table and find out who are the non-metallic elements. And these non-metallic elements have the chance to come together to form a covalent molecules. All right? Now, second point is very important is to understand that the non-metal and non-metal atoms they will come together to form a bond and thus form the compound or the element by sharing of electrons. When we talk about electrons, we are talking about the valence or the outer shell, outermost shell, all right? Uh, electrons itself. So I'll just write valence electrons over here. Now, the last point is that you need to understand why these non-metallic elements would want to share the electrons? The aim is to obtain full or stable electronic configuration Just like your noble gas Alright, just like noble gas, just like your group zero like. Uh, helium, neon, argon. So that is what they want to achieve. Now, uh, when you talk about your noble gas electronic configuration or your full electronic configuration, um, there are two types. All right, one is we call it duplet. A duplet means they have two valence electrons in the first shell, and this makes them very um, stable. For example, this will be your helium. And then you have your octet, so this is two valence electron. And octet comes from the word octagon, it means eight valence electron in the outermost shell. And this will make the configuration, the structure very stable. Okay, so let's take a look with some examples over here and uh, see how we can get the chemical formula. Now, for Chemical formula of the covalent molecules, the way um, we determine it is different from the ionic compound in terms of the strategy. For the covalent molecule, it's very important that you draw out the dot and cross diagram, all right, such that they satisfy this condition that they have obtained the stable or full electronic configuration. Because once it's stable, then we'll be able to find the formula. So let's take a look at the first example. Now this is hydrogen, all right. So uh, hydrogen has one valence electron. If we refer to the periodic table, so I will have a hydrogen atom, the first one, and I would have the second hydrogen atom, all right. So what happened is this hydrogen atom has used a dot, all right, one valence electron. The other one has a cross. So from there you realize uh, this hydrogen atom right now, after bonding, after sharing, has two valence electron. So he has achieved the duplex structure, all right? So he has the duplex structure, the duplex configuration. So this is stable, it's happy. This is stable, this is happy. And therefore, hydrogen, all right, your hydrogen gas exists this way. And we know the formula will thus be H2. So it's really through the dot and cross diagram that we're able to come up with the formula of your covalent molar Cubes, all right. So hydrogen in this case is an element. H two is an element. So probably I'll just add the word here. This is a H two and it's an element. All right. Now what about fluorine? Fluorine itself has uh, two shells. All right. So I'll draw the inner shell. There's two electrons. All right. And then you have an outer shell, fluorine. Okay, which has seven. So we have one. Okay, uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. You then bond with another fluorine atom. So we're going to draw this. 
chlorine. There's an inner shell here. And we're going to use a different symbol. So this will be your dot. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Now take a look at this fluorine. In terms of the outer shell, uh, used to be seven valence electron when it's an atom. But now after bonding with another fluorine atom, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is happy. On the other side, take a look. This is also happy. They have what we call the octet structure. All right. So once it's stable, so this whole molecule as this. And the formula will then be F2. Fluorine, once again, is also an Le member. Okay? So we move on to the next one. Now, from here onwards, I'm not going to show you uh, the inner shell. We go a bit faster. All right? If we recall, it's always about the valence shell. And in exams, sometimes they, uh, the examiner purposely uh, wants you to just write the valence shell. All right? The dot and cross diagram just showing the valence shell with the valence electrons. Okay, so you have to look at your examination question very clearly. Now, take a look at oxygen. Uh, oxygen will have six um, valence electrons, all right, for its atom. So uh, let's say this is oxygen. So I have another oxygen. So O and O, just the valence shell, all right. So this one, we have six. So we have one, two, three, four, now, 5 and 6. You're going to see what I'm going to do. Oxygen, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. You can draw it here also. Probably I'll draw it here so it's clearer for you. 1, 2, 3, 4. And the 5th and the 6th electron will be here. Now, let's go back to each atom and count it. Right now, this oxygen atom, all right, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It has octet structure, so it's very happy, very stable. The other side will also be the same, all right? So some of this one you really have to practice. These are all common molecules that will be tested, so it's really good that you practice before you go for examination, all right? If not, you're going to spend a lot of time doing trial and error, all right? Because eventually you have to do dot and cross diagram, all right? And make sure they satisfy this condition, all right? So this is your O2. We all know O2 is an Le one. Okay, let's move on. Now, water, okay, everyone know water since young that the formula is H2O. Let me prove to you it's really H2O, all right? So, um, there's 2H, 1O. So, what happened is oxygen is here. Okay, let me draw it bigger. Oxygen, and you have two hydrogen. Again, we are just showing the valence shell, all right, it's because it's faster. Uh, for me to present to you and then we have oxygen let's use a dot for the hydrogen so hydrogen has one this atom also has one electron all right oxygen has six you we'll use one here the second one here four more will be here here and here so what happened is each hydrogen atom right now have two so it has duplex structure stable oxygen we have one two three four five six seven eight do octet structure and is stable. All right. Uh, sometimes we say that this uh, water has inverted uh, Mickey Mouse ears. All right. It's a common uh, saying. Now, not this is the structure of um, water. So if you look at it, the formula will be H2O, and water is a compound. All right. Now I'm going to go to the last two which is ammonia and nitrogen, all right? Ammonia, all right, we'll have one nitrogen atom, valence shell. we have three hydrogen atom. Let's use dot for the electrons in hydrogen. And nitrogen is in group five of the periodic table. So you have five valence electron, and one, two, three, four, and five. Hydrogen, they are happy because duplet. Nitrogen, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. After bonding, so they're very happy also. And thus the formula, we we'll look at it, will be NH3. And ammonia is a compound. All right, because uh, two elements, two different type of elements are involved, just like water. Okay, and we go to the last one, nitrogen. Now, nitrogen is an element. Um, 
take a look. This is the first one. This is the second. Nitrogen once again has five valence electron. In order to make sure they are stable, they are happy to have octet uh, valence shells to have eight valence electrons per atom. Um, the only way is when you have nitrogen contributing three valence electrons. Right, so one, two, three. Uh, then four and five for this nitrogen. The other one we'll be using one, two, three, four, five. If you count it, this nitrogen will have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Likewise for the other nitrogen. Therefore, this is a stable molecule. It exists, and the formula will be N two nitrogen is an element. Okay. So once again, that's what we do, all right? Remember, to find a chemical formula, which is all this, all right, uh, of your covalent molecules, whether they are elements or compound, all right? Uh, very important is that you understand that um, they are formed due to, all right, sharing of electrons, the valence electrons between non-metal and non-metal, all right? And then the whole idea is to get a uh, stable or a full electronic configuration, meaning after bonding, the outer shell should have either duplex. This normally apply to hydrogen atoms. Be careful, all right? Make them happy uh, and stable. Whereas the rest of the non-metals, when they bond, they want to have octet structure, meaning you have eight valence electrons after bonding, all right? Uh, because once this is uh, this condition is uh, satisfied, then you will be able to come up with the chemical formula. So this is for covalent molecules. Okay? I hope you enjoy yourself today. Uh, feel free to share this with your friends and I see you in the next video. Thank you.